James Kaufman, World News Report, today, August 18th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, looking at our KP indexes, which gives us a combination of solar winds and plasma striking Earth, we see that our estimated planetary KP index has picked up six hours of a geomagnetic disturbance. We also see three hours of a geomagnetic disturbance on our Fredericksburg and Boulder KP indexes. Now let's see. That's 0 to 3, 3 to 6, 6 to 9, 9 to 12. So we're talking about 9 to 12 UTC time. And then from 12 to 3 UTC time. So that's 9 to 3 UTC time. Let's take a look at our Discover satellite and see if we can match that up with the actual plasma and disturbances. First off, we started the day with some super high plasma prints here at 8569. There are several of, the, of those. 6415, 8782, 5704. Can't grab them all, but they're there. 3457, 3019. And this continues. And remember, this is 0, 100 to 300 to 600 and all of this is considered space weather 22.76 it just goes back up then to 26 uh, we have some more spikes here 2425 2425 we stay in space weather threshold conditions above 10 centimeters and we have another bump in the road here that brings us over 20 centimeters of plasma cubed again before we finally fall off at around 1300 UTC time. Now remember, our disturbance was picked up from 9, right? 9 to about 1300 UTC time. And via the Discover satellite, most of the plasma was prior to that, although we did have activity during that time period. Now, our shields were up, protecting us from that plasma, and they did go down right about when the plasma fell off. We've also had solar winds fall off. Temperatures were all over the board here, but they were quite mild with the plasma as strong as some of these readings that we see. Now, I would say that they were off, but I looked at ACE, and it shows these same readings in the first 12 to 13 hours of the day. Why don't we see the KP index reacting with a slight or moderate geomagnetic storm with plasma this intense? Now, solar winds were down at 450, but we see a spike to 541 right here, just as plasma spikes up to 8782. Is this, in fact, coming from the sun? At this point, I don't know. We also see the temperature spike up at this point as well. Now, solar winds look pretty slow all day long. We have another spike. Let's see if I can get it. To right under 500 kilometers per second. Uh, right at 6 UTC time. And basically, the winds dwindled down to below 400 kilometers per second. Again, the question here is, is why during all this activity of heavy plasma, do our KP indexes show nothing? And then from 9 to 1300 UTC time, although we're in a minimal solar storm here, it lights up as a geomagnetic disturbance. Anyone that can explain this to me, well, it's greatly appreciated. You can see that our shields also go down as the plasma goes down, solar winds go down. And temperature seems to remain the same and never really spiked. Well, I can't say never really spiked. It did spike at the beginning of the day, but didn't spike uh, fluently, if you will. So let me know what you think about the KP index and if it's a true measurement of what's going on with our 
solar storms and geomagnetic storms here on Earth. God bless you and yours. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in the bizarro world.